It may have been a small group, but it certainly was a mighty one outside Burlington MPP Jane McKenna's office as a group of health care workers have come to demand that the provincial government repeal Bill 124. Now, for those who don't know, Bill 124 in simplistic terms essentially limits the wage increase of health care workers across Ontario, including those in this protest, all of whom who've said it's unfair, unjust, and one health care worker here at the protest in particular says it's even sexist. Occupation is 80% women, female dominated occupation. And guess what? Fire, police, male dominant occupations, they're not uh, governed under Bill 124. What is this again? We are meant to sacrifice. Sharon Riche of QP's Ontario Council of Hospital Unions is calling on the Burlington MPP and Associate Minister of Children and Women's Issues to stand up for the female health care workers and repeal Bill 124. At a rally in front of Jane McKenna's office in Burlington on March 16th, Riche says this bill puts a bigger gap between women's wages versus men's, which is disappointing. This bill is sexist. You know, hospital workers are predominantly female. Clearly, the Conservative government made a bill that would only allow us to bargain up to a 1% wage increase. And so, what does it tell healthcare workers? It tells healthcare workers that this government doesn't care about them as much as they care about male dominant jobs. Bill 124 was passed in 2019 with QP's health care workers fighting it ever since. In a press release, QP says rising inflation is going to hit their mostly female workforce with a more than 4% wage cut this year. Riche says this is not how the province should be treating our pandemic heroines. Health care workers are leaving in droves because they've given up so much over this time. A single mother couldn't speak to her children, you know, for the last two years because they're speaking through a door because they're afraid to bring home the virus. And now these women are broken. They've held hands of, you know, Ontario um, members who have died because their families couldn't come in. They sat with them and held their hand. They have been um, had to tell loved ones, I'm sorry, but you can't come in and visit your family members. They were the family of, of their patients when their families couldn't be there. And now to be told, guess what? You can only bargain a 1% wage increase. We can't bargain any kind of health benefits for these people that are suffering post-traumatic stress that might need somebody to talk to. It is downright shameful what we're doing to these people. Burlington wasn't the only stop in Halton. The protesters then moved on to Milton, where they rallied in front of MPP Parm Gill's office. It won't be the last time this group protests, as there are further rallies scheduled in front of our local hospitals in the coming weeks. And they say they are going to continue to protest until Election Day on June the 2nd. For Halton News in Burlington, I'm Melissa Candelaria.